lovely butterfly I'm not sure which one quite still undisturbed which will take me on the other side of the strait that you see behind me over here and uh, actually a very small Roro approximately seven small vehicles and uh, two buses can fit and my vehicle is already loaded and we are ready to leave we and the jetty on the other side is actually on that side over there so I will be uh, disembarking in around uh, 15 to 20 minutes from now and head straight towards Diglipur and uh, my destination is Saddle Peak National Park my first national park of Andaman and Nicobar <laughs> speedboats which are taking the tourists to the Baratang limestone cave so that's what I will be exploring on my way back from Saddle Peak National Park to Port Blair most of the tourists are here to explore the cave uh, it's one of the highlight tourist destination so although it's not part of my itinerary uh, but let's see if I can explore it on my way back just started the trek in the Saddle Peak National Park did the entry formalities the permit with me is my uh, nature guide Aapka kya naam hai? Lola's Babula. Lola's Babula. Bagula so he will be assisting me in my today's trek right up to the summit so this is a 10 kilometer one-way trail and should take approximately three hours to summit and then approximately one and a half hour to two hours of descent all in all five to six hours of uh, journey plus photography opportunities oh there's a beautiful butterfly it is a mormon probably a blue mormon i'm not very sure it was quite big definitely not a southern wing i can hear lovely bird calls already there is a lovely butterfly i'm not sure which one quite still undisturbed I saw almost 10 plus species in the first 15 minutes of my entry to the Saddle Peak National Park where I am right now That was a lovely butterfly. I don't know. I've never seen this butterfly before. I have, I've got a record shot, so I will go back and check which one was that. But it was definitely a new addition to my list. Here you can see it is so, so large, so big. Just look at the size 
of this tree. It is huge. So this bird is actually communicating with me. He's replying to my calls. Wow, this energy, this orchestra, this music. This is exactly why I come to the forests again and again. The trees are really, really tall. This tree over here. That means wild mango in English and this tree is a wild mango tree. Again a first for me, I have never come across a wild mango tree before. And this is something very very different, usually mango trees do not grow that tall, this one is really really tall. Finally found ये कौन सा turtle है जो जा रहा है वापस So this is a hawksbill turtle. Uh, I think I got lucky. This had probably come over here. Uh, the turtle had come over here to lay eggs, and it is returning. It is returning back to the sea. Just look at this sight over here. What a sight this was. This is my first sighting of mine. I've seen turtles many a times before, but such a large turtle on the seashore, it had probably come to lay eggs. And it's the first sighting of me seeing a turtle lay eggs and then entering back into the sea. After trekking for almost 2 kilometers, I am back on the beach, on the Lamia Bay beach and uh, just saw a couple of wader birds fly by as soon as I entered the beach. So this is a fishing net that has been washed away uh, from the ocean and uh, it has come and stuck over this dead branch over here. Uh, this is this is actually the biggest threat that our marine biodiversity right now is going through. A lot of turtles, a lot of large fishes, 
actually get entangled and get stuck in this uh, fishing nets which are discarded by the fishermen in the ocean and uh, we are losing marine biodiversity at a very very rapid rate uh, I, I, I'm not very sure of the number but I read some reports where we have already lost more than 50% of our marine diversity, marine biodiversity in the last three, two to three decades and if this does not stop and if we do not take some stringent policy reforms against the plastic waste, against the fishing nets being discarded in our oceans, in our seas, we will lose the last remaining marine diversity that, is, that we have. And right now, I am in Andaman. This is, this is the dive capital of India. This is the marine biodiversity capital of our beautiful country. And we need to do something about this. We need to create awareness and uh, this is actually very very detrimental uh, not only to the marine biodiversity uh, but to the complete ecosystem that is dependent on the seas and the oceans So I'm about to summit right now, another 100 meters of ascent to go. I'm approximately at 625 right now. And what a lovely trek this has been through dense tropical forest of Andaman. It is definitely the highest peak in this complete mountain range and the highest peak in the Andaman Island. So I finally, finally summited and I'm at the Saddle Peak, on the Saddle Peak in the Saddle Peak National Park, the highest mountain of Andaman at 732 meters above the sea level. I'm feeling so ecstatic and I'm so mesmerized with this lovely trek. And there is this lovely view of the uh, Lamia Bay up over there. So I need to climb on these uh, rocks. It has a beautiful view right up to the horizon of the Lamia Bay coastal line. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a very clear day today. This whole trek was through the dense tropical forest and the beginning, the first two and a half, three kilometers were uh, uh, along the Lumia Bay beach. When I say I am on Saddle Peak, it means that all the other people on the Andaman Island are below me. That feeling is so amazing. I had a similar feeling when I trekked the highest peak of Mizoram and also trekked the highest peak of Urisa. So although the altitudes of those peaks were quite high compared to the this particular peak, but uh, uh, nevertheless, this habitat, this experience has been fabulous, it's splendid.